Hello, I'm Kimberly Acosta. Welcome to this edition of the Native News Update on Friday, December 11th. Many of the stories you hear here can be found at our website, IndianCountryNews.com, or you can check out IndianCountryTV.com. And here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native News sources. Nearly a month after the body of Hillary Bunnell was discovered, buried in a wooded area near Turkati, Sheila, our CMP have charged Curtis Bunnell, 29, with first-degree murder of his cousin. RCMP Inspector Fortin alleged that Curtis Bunnell acted alone. He said the location where the girl's body was found was very remote and that no one in the community should feel they failed by not finding her sooner. Alex Dedham, a spokesman for the Burnt Church First Nation Band Council, said in an interview that the charge is a small step toward closure for the entire community but that coming to terms with the tragedy is not going to happen for a long time. Two Native American reservations in Nebraska are slated to get more than $1.2 in federal dollars to improve transit infrastructure. On December 10th, U.S. Senator Ben Nelson announced the allotment of the stimulus money to the Winnebago and Sante Sioux reservations. The Nebraska Democrat says the Winnebago tribe is alleg eligible to receive $235,030 in federal stimulus money to design and construct a transit maintenance facility. It is also eligible for another $707,796 in traditional Department of Transportation funds for transit operational assistance and computer software. While the Sané Sioux Tribe is eligible for $270,682 in Transportation Department money for transit operating expenses. The FCC's forthcoming national broadband strategy must include steps to improve services to Native Americans, FCC Commissioner Michael Copps told attendees December 10th while delivering the keynote at the Practicing Law Institute's Telecommunications Policy and Regulatory Institute. Broadband must not leave no man behind, Copps said, including the original Americans who often live without basic service, much less broadband services. Telephone service penetration lags around 70% of Native American households, COPS said, calling the number shockingly low. But COPS was more concerned about the state of broadband data in Indian country, or lack thereof. We don't even begin to have a reliable data on the status of internet subscribership on tribal lands because no one has bothered to collect it, he said. American Indian veterans in New Mexico should begin receiving long overdue reimbursements of tax dollars unlawfully withheld from their military paychecks. An estimated 9,000 American Indian veterans live in New Mexico and those who can prove state income tax was unjustly withheld from their military paychecks can collect a piece of a settlement fund. New Mexico Taxation and Revenue Department Secretary Rick Holmans told veterans in Shiprock that checks should begin showing up in their mailboxes early next year. State legislators dropped $1 million into a fund created last year to, re to reimburse veterans whose primary addresses were on tribal land during their military service and whose military income was unjustly taxed by the state. Laguna Beach, California teen Everin Ozan won the International Gravity Sports Junior Division Skateboarding World Championship held recently in Barthurst, Australia. Riding on the Sector 9 team, Ozan also placed seventh overall in the Adult Open and made it to the finals. A homeschooler and Native American flute musician, Ozan, who is Osage and Turkish, has released three albums to date and has performed internationally. His latest album, Alluvia, won for Best Instrumental Recording at the 2007 Native American Music Awards, and the Sector 9 skateboarding team used its first track in the, their short video of Ozon skating last year. The video can be viewed at Sector 9's website, which is sector9.com, or you can check out Ozon's website at ozonmusic.com. And that's the latest roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me, and have a grand day.